Hi guys, welcome to my virtual fashion lab. In today's videos, I'm gonna show the alternative way how I'm doing the eyelets. So I don't like the eyelet tool that comes with claw because it's very unstable and I cannot actually thread through the draw cord, which is my favorite thing to do because it makes it as extra realistic. So what I'm doing, I'm creating as an extra pattern piece that I'm later on assigning the feature as of trim and metalness because you can adjust, you can give any type of texture to any material that you're using um, and then you're sewing it on so right now i'm creating the two internal shapes which is the outline of inside and outside of the um, uh, my future eyelet and i'm turning the inside of the internal line into the hole and then i will create the pattern piece out of those internal lines uh, which will be my future eyelet I will create a new material that I will label as eyelid and I will assign the hardware uh, physics to it and also will turn it into the metal. As you see, when I'm turning uh, the physics into the hardware, all the values are close to a maximum except for the lowest ones that will ensure that the material will be pretty rigid. Let's make the particle distance very tiny so then it's smooth and nice and sew it on. Make sure that the direction of sewing is same so then you don't get the twisted pattern piece. will decrease my collision so then it will make the pattern piece actually sits closer to the uh, sleeve pattern piece and also I will increase my additional thickness render to make it look a little bit taller. I will freeze everything else except for the pattern piece that are working with each other and I'll add uh, uh, strengthening to make it a little bit more rigid. Now I want to decrease the curvature of the inside of the eyelet that will make it look like if it was like cut off and more uh, defined. Let's do the same to the sister eyelet. And superimpose over. Now let's simulate and let it settle in better. Um, sometimes you might need to help it a little bit to set on the layers pro more properly, but in most of the cases it works perfectly fine.
Now let's hide all the colors of the strengthening because I want to see how my metal gonna show. I added the texture of the zipper pull that I was using before because I want all the trims to look more uh, consistent. Now as you see the drop cord doesn't look like if it's going actually inside even though we have the opening there so I'm gonna create even smaller um, internal circle on the lining pattern piece that's where I'm gonna be sewing on my um, draw cord. You can also move it a little bit even more inside so then you can do amazing beautiful close-ups and then it will look like it going all the way to the left or all the way to the right depending on where the direction of the draw cord should go inside of the garment. Awesome, now I have the result that I wanted, that my eyelids look like they're sewing on and the draw cord goes inside. If you like this video, sign up and I will show you more tricks and secrets how to make your garment more realistic. Bye!